Hey there! Welcome to this demo video on creating cold brew and I'll show to you how you can make your own cold brew at home. By the way, apologies for the mess at the back because we're doing some uh, repair works here at the cafe because of Typhoon Odette. So first tool, I'll be sharing two tools that you can use at home so you can make your own cold brew and the first tool is this one. Uh, this is a cold brew pitcher. I'll be putting a link where you can buy below in the description box. It comes with this filter basket and this is where you put your beans and then this is You can attach it like that. And then there's water here. So ang advantage niya is the next day after um, steeping your beans with the cold water, you don't have to filter na kasi yung beans nandito na. Okay? So currently, I am grinding some beans so that I'll be making cold brew. Okay, so before I even continue, no, I'd like to emphasize also the difference between cold brew and iced coffee. I think I had a, an IGTV video or an IGTV with this one, but I also would like to share it here. Na yung iced coffee, it really does not mean na cold brew kasi technically magkaiba sila. So let's start with the similarity, no? Yung cold brew at iced coffee, when served, pareho silang malamig. They're both cold, okay? Or merong yellow. Pero the difference would be on how the coffee was extracted or yung brewing method. Now, with iced coffee, usually yung brewing method niya, yung mga sinaserve sa cafe, like iced caramel macchiato, iced mocha, it's espresso-based. So, it's brewed using a pressure-based method. Some um, would just perhaps have pour-over method. Tapos, lagyan mo ng ice. Okay? So, the brewing method was from hot water. Nilagyan mo ng ice, iced coffee. Tapos, yung cold brew naman, ang brewing method niya is through immersion. So, meaning, yung uh, coffee grounds or coffee beans, we immerse it sa water for at least 12 to 14 hours. Minababad natin siya. Okay? So, magkaiba talaga yung brewing method ng dalawa. So, when you say iced coffee, it's brewed using hot water perhaps or any other brewing methods, pressure base, pour over, and it's served immediately. Nilagyan lang ng ice. Iced coffee. Ice with a D. Well, yung cold brew, yung um, method niya would be immersion. And it would need at least 12 to 14 hours for you to be able to extract the coffee from the beans. So what we'll be doing today would be cold brew using two inexpensive tools. Okay, so I now have some ground beans and what I'll do, lagay natin dito. Start pouring water here. So I'm gonna be checking na kulang pa siya ng water. So I just fill it up until here. So ayan, it's already full with water. So I'm gonna be leaving this sa ref ng mga at least 14 hours okay and i'm gonna take this out and this would now be cold brew so we're using here a steeping method so just really really very easy then the next tool that we'll be using is a brew bag ito easy lang din and very very cheap i'll be putting in a link below where you can also purchase now next inexpensive tool would be this brew bag that looks like this one Okay, it's made of nylon and you can also use cheesecloth actually. So what we'll do is we'll put all the grounds sa loob ng bag. Okay. Then, like that. And then we'll just tie it. Secure lang natin.
this. Okay, you can add more. Ito, konti lang ginawa ko. And, lagay natin siya. You can use any picture that you have. So, lagay mo sa loob. Like that. Okay. And then, you can now pour more water. Ooh. So, so, this would be immersed again, seref, overnight, 12 to 14 hours. And we will be opening this by tomorrow. Okay, after a few hours, mga 20 to 24 hours, it's done na. Here. Okay. And i just like to share to you the brewing ratio that I follow for my own cold brew. Um, it can be between 1 is to 5 to 1 is to 8. So, 1 part of coffee is to 8 parts of water. Now, for me, I find the sweet spot sa 1 is to 8. And then, you put it sa ref or you steep mo siya in cold water sa ref for around at least 12 to 14 hours and max of 24. In my case naman, I find the sweet spot at 20 hours. So coffee is really a preference. So depends on you. If you would want a stronger coffee, then just remember lang na the longer you steep it sa water, no, the longer the extraction, so mas mapait siya. So in my case, binababad ko siya na mga max of 20 hours. Okay? So I'll show to you how easy it is using the pitcher and the brew bag to remove your coffee grounds the next day. So for the brew pitcher, very easy lang. You just really simply remove the cover, okay? And naka-attach kasi to this one where we put the grounds here. So what we can do is just remove it like that. Tapos, you can cover the rest now with your pitcher. Ayan. Tapos, ito na yung i-store mo si Ref. So here, very, very easy. And this can last a Ref mo for like 7, 7 to 14 days. Okay? Then, sa brew bag naman, also very easy. Remove mo lang talaga to. <laughs> Yan Okay? Then, if you're really very extra with your coffee, ayaw talaga ng granules like me, um, you can even use another paper filter, no? Pour this one in another paper filter. Pressure ka na walang granules. But this one for me is already good. So, we now have cold brew. Okay, so ganito lang. Very, very easy to do. You will now have cold brew sa bahay. Again, you can check below for the links where you can buy um, the cold brew pitcher and the brew bag for your cold brew. Now, I'll share to you naman now how you can drink your cold brew. So, yung iba, you can actually drink it direct. Actually, cold brew, so just get a glass of ice and then pour in your coffee. Try <laughs> niya. Amir. <laughs> okay. There. And there's your cold brew. So, ito is a really big good sa mga mahilig sa black coffee. And if you could see, para siyang coke, no? So, actually, yung mama ko, uh, sometimes pag sa bahay, nag soft drinks kami ng mga kapatid ko. Kasi my brothers are really into soft drinks like Coke. So sometimes, kasi taas yung sugar niya. So sometimes, imbis na Coke yung inumin niya, ito yung cold brew yung inumin niya. <laughs> so we, I somewhat always make sure that there's cold brew sa bahay para merong sudo Coke si mama. Kasi bawal na yung sugar sa kanya, like the Coke. So like this, pwedeng diretso. Mmm, sarap. And then, if you're really not into black coffee, pasensya, I don't know if you could hear, no? Kasi may nagre repair sa, sa cafe. <laughs> Sinira di odet yung glass windows namin. So, kung mahilig ka, hindi ka mahilig sa really black coffee, you can just add your preferred sweetener. So, stevia, brown sugar, sugar syrup, fructose, whatsoever. 
okay? Or, pwede din naman na you can create your own ratio. Let's say with this one, mga 75% black coffee, and then you just add your preferred milk, soya milk, oat milk, fresh milk, low-fat milk, like that. Just really after. Ta-da! Ganda, di ba? Okay, so you will now have your own latte sa bahay using cold brew. That easy lang talaga. Ngayon naman, for example, uh, gusto mo siyang ibenta as cold brew in cold brew bottle. So let's say, so, subitin natin to. Okay, I, I usually put it here for personal use. So what you can do actually, one basic formula nung nagbibenta ng mga cold brew bottles. Yung iba, they really sell it as is. So pure black cold brew. Call that cold black. Yung iba naman, nagbibenta ng cold white. So cold white would mean it's cold brew coffee with milk. Okay? Pero, merong konting hack para you can also catch the Philippine audience. <laughs> May mga Pinoy, kasi tayo, mahilig tayo sa mga matamis eh. Kaya, yung spaghetti nga natin, merong ano, di ba? May Filipino style spaghetti. Kasi yung spaghetti natin is matamis. So, pwede din naman na, for example, ito yung bottle ha. So, I'll be sharing to you here um, a little bit of a recipe that you can experiment using your um, cold brew business. So, you can have the ratio of 40% cold brew black 40% milk of your choice, and then 20% of creme densada. So that's basically the creamer and the sweetener. So a total of 100%. Okay, so try natin ha. Ito, this is around 500 uh, ml capacity ng bottle. So I'll be adding, let's say, 200 ml of cold brew. Tapos, 200 ml ng milk. Here. Right. And then the remaining would be for the creme densada. So, nilagay ko yung creme densada sa squeezer. Para it's kind of easy to pour. So, yung creme bensada would serve na as your creamer slash sweetener. Ayan. Okay. So, I now have cold brew white. This is basically cold brew and then milk and then the creamer and sweetener in the form of creme bensada. Not sponsored. <laughs> so, kung ang uh, yung brand is Angel, it's creme bensada. But I think the Alaska brand also has the creme Creme Asada. So that's also their name sa packaging nila. So it's basically um, creamer plus um, condensed milk. So ito na yung cold brew. I hope you can also try to experiment at home using these two very cheap tools na you can buy through the link below in the description box. Tag me in Instagram at ma in case you would be trying these two inexpensive tools and in case you'd also be making your own cold white. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next videos.